Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Monday's webinar. Today, we're going to work with ProData Key or PDK as they're known in the business. I'm pleased to be joined by Jeff Perry, who's the president of ProData Key, and Dallin Labram, who is the vice, who is the uh, director of sales. Um, each day, we're going to run a different webinar on behalf of ADI. If you have questions, there's going to be a chat box that appears, and I'm going to ask you to put the questions that you have into the chat box. After that point in time, um, what's going to happen is everybody's come in muted, and we're going to type questions in as we go, and then we're going to have a short short delay between keying up the questions at the end of the webinar and answering the questions and at that point in time we'll uh i'll join you again so with that i'd like to introduce jeffrey and dallin from pro data key thank you michael we sure appreciate that yeah thank you all for joining us like you said my name is dallin labram i'm the director of sales for pro data key this is Jeff Perry, he's the president and COO of ProDataKey. Um, before we start, I just wanna give you a little uh, rundown of where PDK is from and what we do. We are a cloud-based access control system. Um, we have been recognized for the past four years as one of the fastest growing companies in the Mountain West Capital Network. And what this means is they have analyzed the, uh, all of taxes and everything that we have and other companies and compared us against companies like the Larry H. Miller Group, Adobe, um, really large uh, companies here in Utah and for four years in a row we've been in the top 100 so that's a great honor um, like we said we are a cloud-based access control solution built from the ground up as an access control solution and that's really been um, what's driven us from day one is trying to determine how we actually make a change in the industry from what the status quo was we know the status quo for all of those that have been out there installing is a panel on the wall and, uh, and, and a lot of these large antiquated panels and really trying to move to a mobile first perspective. And so when we, when we talk about mobile first, we're talking about anywhere, anytime, on any device. And so we always saw this dichotomy, this separation between what I was doing at home from an automation perspective and what I would see when I would go into the office. As I was at home, I could turn on my lights, I could dim them, I could um, set up scenarios um, to turn my TV on um, and so forth. And, and we've seen that, that automation advance. Um, but we've seen the commercial portion of the industry really lag uh, several years behind. And so what ProData Key has really tried to do is bring a mobile first automated experience to access control. And there's, this really starts with you as the integrator. So when we talk about an integrator uh, first experience, we're talking about full installation uh, to end user management. So as I'm on a ladder installing one of the panels and I get on my phone, I can do 100% of the configuration directly from my phone. There's at no point do I need to go back to a computer or a laptop uh, to be able to do that configuration. So what I wanna do is show you just a quick segment of some of the configuration and wireless discovery on your mobile device. So if you see a mobile, your mobile device here and you click on the icon, it launches PDKIO, which is a full native app. You'll click on configuration, which will be accessible to you as the integrator, and you'll go over to the discovery button and click on discover. Once you hit discover, you're going to see all of the doors automatically show up. Click on add port, put in the name of that particular door, and once you name that door, then you'll select the port on the controller that you're configuring. So whether that's a one door controller, two door, or eight door controller like you see here on port number three. Once you're on port number three, and you've got that door added, now you can come back to the, the um, door panel and you can do any advanced configuration from them. Open, open and close the door, uh, set auto open, uh, first allowed card scan, um, change any of the configuration, select DPS, RECs, and so on. So again, 100% configuration um, all the way from your uh, mobile device. Now this can be done on a computer as well um, if you don't have a mobile uh, device accessible or if it's easier to ac access on your, on your laptop or a computer. But again, mobile first, anywhere, anytime. 
The second portion of this that I want to talk about is the administrator. You know, a lot of times the administrator is, is more prone to utilize their app for access control. So we've already talked about an integrator perspective and doing the installation 100% mobile first. Now as an administrator, I have the ability to add, change, delete, um, pull reports, again, 100% functionality from an administrative perspective. And that's a big deal when you're talking about administ an administrator um, being able to manage. I wanna show you a quick video on adding an individual to the PDKIO platform on their mobile first uh, uh, application. So pull open PDKIO. As an administrator, you won't see the configuration. You'll go in, click on the plus button, you'll put in the individual's name and you can do a full import from this area as well. And then once you add the individual, automatic, it automatically creates their profile. Once their profile is created, you can actually add a photo directly from your phone. So as soon as, soon as you click on add, it pulls up the camera, allows you to take a picture, and then loads that picture into the PDKIO platform, allowing you to crop that image um, in, the, in the profile segment. Once you've cropped it, click on save, and it loads that photo into that individual's profile. Now that profile is created, you have the ability to go in and make any changes. You can issue Bluetooth credentials, you're going to put in their email address so that those Bluetooth credentials go directly to them. Um, and I'm going to show you as you come into the credential segment here, you can add a credential or go to mobile. If you click on Bluetooth and touch IO, now they have access to a Bluetooth credential that's loaded directly to their phone. They receive the email, they download the app. Once the app is downloaded, then they'll click on activate credential and it will load that credential directly into their touch mobile app. This, this mobile app also gives them the ability to open doors they have access to during times they have access to them if they're granted permission um, by, the, by the administrator. And that brings me to the, the last segment of this mobile first perspective is we don't wanna forget the tenant and the employee. And we want them to be able to have a mobile first perspective as well. So again, like I said, is they can have access to the touch mobile app if granted access by the administrator, or they can also be granted access to a Bluetooth credential. And so as they're utilizing this Bluetooth credential, it gives them the ability to come up to the door and touch that. And we'll show you a little bit more about that here in just a minute. So what I wanna do is give you a quick intro to the Touch, uh, the touch app. Jeff, as you were talking about the ease of use of the mobile app and how it's a mobile first platform, it reminded me of a, a recent call that we had from an end user in Northern California. Uh, she was a small business owner. She has four gyms and one of her biggest problems was managing her clients. She didn't have time to bring on all the people she was bringing in. She also didn't have the bottom line yet to hire a new employee. She gave me a call about three days after she had had PDK installed in all of her gyms and told me while she was at the grocery store that evening, she had put two new users, added them to her gym user profile. This has made her life infinitely easier and really, really added value to her moving forward. That's great. That's, that's pro data key in a nutshell right there. Again, mobile, per, mobile first perspective anywhere, anytime on any device. Now I want to show you a little bit about how to use um, the, the, uh, the touch app. So let me go ahead and play a little video here. Having a secure office doesn't have to be inconvenient. So what you'll see here is you've got the touch app, you pull open the touch app and you're going to see the ability to favorite 
on the right hand side, so by starring them. I can also push my finger on any one of the doors and open a door from there. And that's a live uh, real time configuration. So when you see that unlock, that lock unlock, that's happening in real time. We receive the um, notice from the door lock that it's unlocked. You also see the favorites here, and from the favorite screen, I can unlock those doors as well. And whatever I have favorited, if I've got doors favorited, when I open the app, it'll automatically open to that, favorite, uh, that favorites area. So it's really easy to get in and manage my doors and unlock doors. Again, the Touch Mobile app doesn't give me just the opportunity to unlock doors I have access to during the times I can unlock them, but it also holds my Bluetooth mobile credential if I'm utilizing uh, the Touch Reader. So I want to show you again uh, the mobile first perspective uh, when you're looking at the tenant and employee and what that looks like with our touch, um, our touch uh, reader. Having a secure office doesn't have to be inconvenient. Touch by ProData Key is the easiest and most secure Bluetooth access system. Your phone acts as your credentials without having to leave your pocket. Other systems are less secure because the readers can't distinguish between credentials inside or outside the office. But with Touch's inside-out technology, a phone inside can accidentally be used to let someone in. Installation is very simple, since it uses Bluetooth and mobile app for enrollment. An integration to existing access control is seamless since Touch works with RFID technology. Touch also comes with an easy-to-use app that allows users to grant access remotely. But the best feature of the app is that it has made adding new users easy. Simply issue mobile credentials directly from PDK.io. Touch by ProData Key. Finally, a Bluetooth reader with real intent. So right there you saw a significant um, advancement in reader technology. And you can see them right behind us here, um, our touch readers. Um, the touch reader is really significant in the industry. Again, giving a mobile first perspective to the employee and tenant, allowing me to approach the door, I touch it, there is a distance capability that can be configured in there, and then it allows me to unlock those doors knowing the intent is me at the door, touching the reader, and then authenticating with the phone in the pocket, in the purse, satchel, whatever it might be. So you're not having to take that phone out of your pocket to engage with this reader at all. That's significant. Another thing that's significant is the inside out technology. One of the issues that we see with Bluetooth technology in the industry is that uh, you've got somebody sitting at a reception desk or a, a door that's very close to an office and we don't want that to authenticate. So we've got a small flat antenna that's mounted to the inside of the door. When you're installing this, you drill straight through. That antenna has double-sided tape sticks on, has a decorative cover that can be painted, and then that negates any signals on the inside or the secure side of the door from being read. Uh, by the touch reader, and that's, and that's a significant ad advancement in Bluetooth technology. Another thing that you're going to find is that you can issue unlimited mobile credentials directly from PDKIO, just like we showed you in the last video. So as you're able to go into, uh, into the touch uh, mobile app, you put in their email address, click on uh, issue mobile credential, immediately sends them the email, and then they load that um, into their phone on the touch mobile app. Uh, that's significant when you talk about uh, mobile credentials. We're not charging per credential. Um, there's a small licensing fee for the reader itself, and then there's unlimited number of credentials uh, that come based on the, on the reader itself. What I want to do now is I want to show you some real significant um, advancements in, in our technology. I'm going to go through each one of our products so you can see what those look like. Uh, the first one that I want to show you is uh, what's called our cloud node. This is the head end unit of, of the platform and it comes with a door controller built right into it. Um, again, this is 100% plug and play. So when you're looking at doing a one door system or a hundred door system, every system that's installed will need one of these devices. This is the head end. Again, you'll notice that it's got a network jack on the bottom. So when you go to install this, it's mounted to the wall. You plug in your network, which gives the cloud uh, functionality. There are no ports to open or IP addresses to configure. It automatically makes a connection to our cloud. You put that uh, serial number on the cloud platform. 
Once you do that, you're up and running managing the system directly from the cloud. And like I mentioned, is you've got a door controller built into this. So if you're doing a one door system, this is literally the only device that you need outside of your ancillary door devices, which is really unique. After you install the head end unit, which is again called the cloud node, and you'll notice a wireless antenna on here because we have wireless connectivity to some of our other door controllers. So if you install some door controllers that are wireless, this is to talk with our proprietary wireless signal to other door controllers that are out there if you're not connecting them uh, via the network, which network connected door controllers is, is probably one of the most popular connectivity methods. And most reliable, typically. Absolutely. But there are going to be those gates, right? Or sure. those doors that you can't get to that you want to use wireless for, and this is a great setup for that. So let me show you a couple of door controllers now, if I can hand that to you. Um, I'm going to bring in uh, what's called our DIO, our SIO, and our 8IO, or 8-door controller. And so we call them IOs, but in, in essence, they're door controllers. So again, this is our single-door controller. Our DIO, which is our, our uh, two-door controller, and this one is actually going to be released in the next, in the next uh, month and a half, so in this next quarter. It, uh, this one will be released, it's, it's brand new. Um, and then our eight-door controller. The nice thing is with the ProData Key platform is you can utilize any combination of controllers and any communication method back to the cloud node um, that you might need. So in essence, you're going to mount the cloud node, uh, typically in a network or security closet, connect that to the network, and then you'll have um, single, dual, or eight door controllers throughout your facility that make sense for the installation. So what we really cloud outside of a mobile first, anywhere, anytime, any device, is that it really gives you the ability to install the access control the way that makes the most sense for the application. And, and now it can really dictate how the access control is installed versus having to have five or 10 different applications in your back pocket uh, to make it fit the best. What a great tool for our dealers, allowing them the opportunity to use wireless or PoE in any application. There's always those doors that are too far away to run cable. You'll get cable loss. There's always those gates that are too far away. Instead of ditch witching your way out to it, you can just use the wireless solution. It's a phenomenal tool for a dealer to have to not only be able to offer the most value to their customers, but also for us to be able to offer them the most value. Absolutely. Let's take these two controllers away and leave the DIO. And I'm going to bring in well, if I don't crash, crash and burn everything here, I want to bring in the new what we call 8IO Plus. Oh, I love it. This is, this is a great addition um, to our arsenal. Essentially, it's our eight-door controller with an Altronics power supply included in it. Um, these are our two brand new products that were being released at ISC West, um, which didn't happen. We did a virtual expo, but we're excited to show them to you here today. Does everyone remember how ISC West didn't happen? Yeah. Yeah, geez. it did not happen. Crazy times. But we can show it to you here and we're really excited about it. One thing that's unique with the new DIO is the self-discovery with our network module that we built into it. We also built PoE directly onto the, uh, on board and included OSDP and some other configuration pieces that make it very significant uh, when you talk about changing the way that we install access control in the industry. The next one again is our 8IO Plus. I'll let you talk a little bit about that. Just being able, you know, one thing you're going to find about ProData Key is we are dealer centric. Every decision we make, we try to get as much information from our dealers as we possibly can and our partners, and we want to make things easier on you. And so being able to get a power supply and an eight door controller under one product number is huge, right? Especially when you're busy, you're doing a lot of jobs. This is the answer to that. It can also control up to 10 floors of elevator access. So when you think of that, in such a small can, it's really a compact, beautiful option for our dealers. And Altronics has done a fantastic job in the industry in providing power. So we wanted to partner with, with somebody who really understood the power technology in the industry, allowing us to monitor power, uh, which is what we do on our controllers as well, is, is power monitoring, tell you, you know, what, what's your power coming in, what's your power going out, your battery charging capabilities, et cetera. That's all available on the, uh, on the Altronics power supply as well. So it's very unique being able to partner with somebody that gives us a lot of the same functionality that we're providing ourselves from our single and two door controllers as well. So let me show you another piece here by Altronics, which is the Altronics Trove. Most of you might be familiar with this. 
Uh, but what's unique is the Trove gives us the ability to mount uh, multiple um, eight door controllers um, or um, end power supplies. So if you were to utilize this in an elevator control scenario, you might have three eight door controllers and one power supply because you're not drawing much power. If you're utilizing it in a 16 door um, uh, configuration like you see here, you might have two power supplies and uh, two eight door controllers. So that's what's so unique about the Trove is giving you the ability to um, set up the configuration of the boards the way that it makes uh, the most sense. Let's, uh, let's show you a, a little bit about the Asa Abloy um, lock set. I'm sure everyone's extremely familiar with Asa Abloy. ProDataKey has an integration with their Aperio line, their wireless lock set line. Um, this is one of their standard lock set features. You can see the reader up here. This is also the wireless hub. And then they have hardware. Uh, the lock, the bolt lock right here is not wireless. One of the great things about this is, is you can use an Aperio 16 to 1 hub, which will control up to 16 of these wireless doors. And when you talk about a three to four hour install of a strike, you know, a reader, a DPS, a Rex, when you can drop that down to 20 to 45 minutes, 20 minutes would be a really good install if the doors are pre-cut, 45 to an hour if you have to make the cuts yourself and then you're dealing with a fully wireless solution. These are phenomenal for all those projects where you don't wanna, they don't want you in there cutting up the roof, cutting up the building. We've had tremendous success in historical buildings in Park City installing these in applications where either A, they don't want you to do a lot of cutting, or B, they don't have a lot of time. These are a very quick option. But really, the Aperio solution is a good solution for anything, and typically dealers can offer this for a similar per-door pricing as they do with the standard. And uh, Protein, cutting. absolutely. Yeah. And Protein Key is one of the foremost integrators into the Asa Abloy Aperio lock set. We've got the largest installations in the country uh, with, with over a thousand locks, um, and that's very unique. Um, also, what makes Aperio unique are the different types of lock sets. Sure. You know, this is the IN100, uh, a very unique lock set, comes in many different fits and finishes, but they also come with cabinet locks, and we're seeing that in the medical industry today is the need to uh, quickly wireless. Uh, wirelessly locked cabinets or uh, containers and those types of things. And so um, you're going to see that with the Imperial lock set. I also want to show you a glass lock that happens to be installed on my door here and what's unique about that. So what you're going to find is that um, you have the same real-time functionality uh, with the Imperial lock sets as you do our regular door controllers. When you install these into, into our system, they're going to look like another door controller in the platform. So you can see this is a wireless lock set, doesn't take any, um, any mounting uh, to the glass at all other than a piece of double-sided stick tape, then it slides on and adheres in place. Um, so a very, very strong um, lock set. And again, 100% wireless with up to three year life um, on your, on your uh, batteries that yeah. come in the back here. And they really do look great. And like we said, you know, there's so many different variations of the Aperio locks. Definitely reach out to your Aperio rep. If you don't know who that is, feel free to reach out to PDK. They will put a veritable army behind you of support that will help you get the exact right hardware for whatever application you have. Let's show you a little bit about uh, Digital Watchdog here. The, these, these guys are a, a fantastic partner of ours. We've got a great integration into the DW platform. What's unique about our integration into a video management platform is we've been asked for years to do an integration to the VMS. And for us, you're, you're going to find that we don't do things just to do them. We want to do them and we want to do them the right way. So as we were putting this together, we asked integrators throughout the country what, they, what it looked like to have a real integration into a VMS platform. And what we found is that we needed to have a, um, a round table with end users to really determine what are they looking for and what, what do they like the most. And so we would, we would pose that we've actually created one of the greatest integrations into a VMS platform uh, that is exactly what an end user is expecting um, in an integration. Yeah, we're finding in any market that ease of use is the number one most valuable thing, right? The reason why Amazon's so successful, ease of use. The reason why this integration is so successful, ease of use. 
Um, there were three main things that we needed. We wanted to make sure we had a mobile first option, which they do, Digital Watchdog does. Then we wanted to make sure that we were able to have soft triggers. What this will allow you to do is operate doors, unlock and grant access through the Spectrum VMS. And then the third one is have a super dynamic search engine that, that integrates really well with our search abilities. Everyone who's used PDK knows that our reporting is second to none. Let's show a quick video. Sure. So you can see you go up to the little three stripe bar, drop down, go to the bookmark log, and you can see all of the access straight across from the Pro Data Key uh, from PDKIO. You can select any of these and it'll take you right to the video. The cool thing about this is you can select the time frame that you want these video strips to be. So if you want them to be 15 seconds before, 15 seconds after, great. Five seconds before, five seconds after, you have complete versatility. Great. Let's talk a little bit about intercom integration. Sure. Uh, we're getting to the end of this, but DW is a fantastic partner of ours. We're really excited about our integration with them. You're going to see uh, uh, three different options uh, that we've got here for video integration. Let me, let's show you the logos of these integrators. So we've got Comlet, Butterfly MX, and My Door View. So you can see these integrations right here. Everybody knows that these are becoming more and more popular as we build more and more dynamic housing, apartment buildings, uh, condo complexes. The ability to be able to see who is at your door for security reasons and convenience is becoming more and more demanded by end users. And also, style. One of the things that you do not want to underestimate is the, how your integration looks. Because if someone can offer the same thing that you're offering at a better price, at a better style, you can be sure that they're going to go with it. And check these out. We've got the... Uh, um, it's a My Door View my here. My Door View here, Butterfly MX, and then we have Comlet right back here into one of our integrations with Pedestal I.O. And that's the next thing we want to talk about is uh, Pedestal I.O. Uh, Pedestal I.O. Is a, is, a, is a fantastic partner of ours. Uh, we're really excited about our integration into these, um, into these stands here. Yeah. Well, let's talk a little bit about that. You know, it's not changing now, but you know, before the whole COVID uh, pandemic that's going on right now, and our hearts go out to everyone who's being affected with that, um, it was becoming more and more in demand to have stylish options, things that people liked. All of these successful companies want to be able to showcase some of their success, and there's no better way to do that than through Pedestal IO's integration with ProDataKey. You can see right here we have just a standard keypad integration with our ruggedized reader. We have the Bluetooth reader right here with a comlet, uh, com option right there. It's beautiful. And then we have just a standard thin mullion stand with our touch reader on it. And the reason we call this is an, uh, an integration is this is more of a hardware integration. So if you contact Pedestal I.O. Uh, for one of these decorative pedestals and then come in, in many different fits and finishes, um, they come pre-drilled and, and ready to mount um, our hardware and or Comlet's hardware uh, to these. So you'll just go to Pedestal I.O.'s uh, website, uh, pedestalpro.com. Once you're on their website, you can select our products. The, um, they'll even do custom fabrication for you and, uh, and guarantee to have that to you within 15 days, which is really unique in the industry. You're not having to go to the metal shop like I used to have to do in the past when I needed a specialized mount or something that didn't quite fit in an area. Uh, now, now Pedestal uh, Pro has the ability to, um, to set this up and, and, and get them uh, configured for you. So again, solution. Pedestal Pro is a great solution. The last thing that I want to talk about here real quick on the intercom that I failed to mention with Comlet is one of the unique things about our integration with Comlet is that we integrate that directly into our Touch.io mobile app. Um, so we, um, we can actually show video um, directly into the mobile app and I want to show you a quick video about that right now. So you'll notice that he's selecting uh, the tenant, rings him, automatically rings on his Touch Mobile app, and you'll see he has the ability to talk to him directly through our app and unlock the gate or door and then enter the building. So he's got two-way communication. Um, so along with the, um, the database um, being shared between PDK and the Comlet panel, um, all that configuration is done directly through PDKIO and allows you to, um, to manage the Comlet panel directly from um, your mobile app. 
So once you configure it, again, your touch mobile app for the end, end users, which would be the employees and tenants, they now have the ability, if you grant them access, to see the video and unlock a door uh, for a guest that might be coming in. So we really appreciate your time. We're really um, excited and, and, and thankful for ADI and putting this together. Uh, we're, we're grateful for our partnership with them and want to turn it back over uh, uh, to Michael Maston. Thank you, Jeff and Dallin. I can't tell you how much I appreciate your time this morning. Uh, at this point in time, I'd like for you all to ask questions via the chat box. You should see a little bubble across the top or the far right of this um, uh, of this webinar. And I'm going to talk a little slowly so that you can type your questions in. In the meantime, I want to make sure that everybody knows about the systems support groups that are in Louisville, Kentucky, Orange, California, Montreal, Canada, and Vancouver, Canada. I have a number of people in each of those facilities that will work with you to design systems, solve problems, answer questions, uh, compare between products, and that message will be uh, resonated each and every time during this trying time that you can't just walk into the branch and see your local folks right now. So I encourage you to reach out to ADI systems in any of those facilities. Uh, they start at 7.30 in the morning and we go to 8 o'clock at night Eastern time so you can kind of figure out where you are. And for all your help and all your designs, they will work with you to put a put the solution together. Um, Jeff and Dallin, do we have some questions on the line at this point? We do. We've got a couple of questions. The first one is uh, by a gentleman by the name of Michael. Uh, it says, what if you want to connect this to my network via VLAN with no DHCP, only static address? How would I set up the static IP? That's a fantastic question. The answer is yes, you can do that. Um, you're going to put the um, the cloud node on the on the network, and then we've got a network tool that allows you to um, hit that cloud node. Um, and then once you hit that, you can set that to a static IP. That's not a problem at all. It's also something that you can obviously set um, at your office if you need to before you get on site. Uh, the next one question that we've got here is by Randy. Uh, do you support the AH40 IP hub? Uh, for the Imperial integration. Yeah, that is the 16 to 1 hub that does work with the Pro Data Key system. It's really awesome. You get a cloud node, you just run a PoE to the hub, and the hub can control up to 16 doors as long as they're within range. Usually we're getting about a 50 foot radius. They do have an antenna that will shift that and we'll get about 75 to 80 foot, and, and it really works well in hallway scenarios and things like that. Absolutely. Uh, the next question was, um, when is the two-door controller going to ship? It will ship this quarter. Yeah. So we're really excited about it. It has gone through testing, um, everything tested out. So the first run should be coming off the line uh, within the month. Um, all of the marketing, collateral, packaging, everything is, is done for it. So we're really just waiting for those controllers to be finalized. Um, we're hoping that uh, with the pandemic, things don't get delayed too much. But uh, without question, this quarter, uh, you'll see those coming into distribution at ADI. Uh, the next question is, do you support any 13.56 megahertz credential or OSDP readers? Um, the answer is yes. On all of our controllers, we support the 13.56. Um, the new DIO supports OSDP, and we're going to um, be revamping the SIO, the single door controller, and the eight door controller to also facilitate OSDP. Um, and we're working on that right now. So within the year, you'll see those two controllers uh, coming out with OSDP as well, but the DIO will be OSDP. And our system works with the HID iClass readers as well, which give you a whole myriad of different credentials you can use. Um, a question here, does the wireless lock set work with the app to unlock the doors as if your hardware uh, door strike with the Rex button, or is this another option? Uh, the answer is yes. So um, regardless of using Aperio, or using our door controllers, um, our app um, will uh, control any of those. So it's really granted permissions uh, by the administrator. So if I'm an employee or a tenant in a building and my administrator says, yeah, you have access, 
uh, to unlock doors remotely. It will only show doors I have access to during times I have access to them, and then it will let me unlock those. And it's 100% real time. So as I push and hit unlock, as soon as I see that lock change state, I've received an acknowledgement back from the controller letting me know that it physically unlocked, and so I can be assured that it's in an unlocked state. Yeah. The Aperio line works with our dynamic rules engine as well. So really, if you're familiar with Prodata Key and you already know how our rules engine works, you can set up these specific rules. The sky's the limit. Your imagination really is your limit to how you can set up doors. Aperio works seamlessly with that. Absolutely. The next question touches on a, on a piece that I didn't touch much on, which is encryption. Um, and it was a question of, of encryption on the wireless and with a Bluetooth? And the answer is yes, our wireless is 128-bit AES encrypted uh, for communication between controllers. But on top of that, the Bluetooth um, encryption, that's, a, that's one thing that's unique about PDK, is most Bluetooth technology in the industry um, really is just a Wigan pass-through. So when I take brand X Bluetooth reader and I install it on my access control system, it's just sending a Wigan pass-through to the platform. With uh, our touch reader, our Bluetooth reader, what it does is it's got encryption from the phone to the physical reader itself, and then encryption from the reader um, to the controller uh, as well. So what's unique about that is ProData Key is the only uh, Bluetooth credential that can tell you whether you're using a standard credential, a Bluetooth credential, or opening the door via the mobile app. So if it said, hey, um, down Labrum came in the front door, I could tell you that he utilized his Bluetooth credential because we're monitoring that not only is it encrypted, but we're monitoring that information can, and can tell you what platform he used to open the door. So the next uh, question here is, do you sell uh, to the customer? Uh, we sell through ADI um, as a distributor. So um, contact ADI and uh, and um, they'll set you up with an account and they can and they can help you out. If you're an end user, uh, we have we have dealers throughout the country um, that can help you, uh, thousands of dealers throughout the country that could help you uh, with an installation or to purchase product. One thing you will find about ProDataKey is we are dealer centric. We realize the value of the dealer network nationwide. Uh, we will never circumvent you and, and sell direct. We do not sell direct. We are distribution centric. We love and are very grateful for our relationship with ADI. And we are also extremely dealer centric. We get sometimes calls from end users who are not happy with the service that they have received. What we do is we go straight back to the dealer. We do some coaching training and brainstorming, and we, re, we reconnect that relationship and rebuild the trust any way that we can. And we work directly with our dealers. So you will find no one will work for you and support you like ProDataQ will. Absolutely. And that talks a bit to our support. One of the things that you'll find with our support is that you get somebody answering the phone live um, within 20 seconds. So our support level is, is our uh, calls answered by live persons, uh, person within 20 seconds or less. And we're, um, for the last quarter, we averaged 80%, uh, which is our threshold of calls answered in 20 seconds or less. Um, next one is, uh, do you have a reader with a keypad option? Yes, we've got many. Uh, we've got an emollient as well as a single gang option. That's this one it. right here has a nice light up touch screen. Yep. Works, it's weatherized, works outdoors, works indoors, and it's, and it's really classy. I mean, you really like, it's really interesting. When, I, when we first got it, I looked at it because it is a smooth glass screen. It has zero issues, whether it's wet or whatever, reading the touch and the intent of where you want to touch on it. Yeah, it's a nice so. reader. Next question is, what happens if the internet goes down because it's cloud-based? That's a great question. It really just limits your, your ability to add, change, delete, move, those types of things. The system will, will run 100% autonomous if your cloud platform uh, were to get disconnected from the internet. Um, so everybody can still access, get in and out, and there's no limit to the number of transactions that that will hold. Um, and then once that, that internet connectivity comes back online, boom, you're back up and running, ready to go. And one thing we're finding right now, especially this time, is people don't really understand how important certain features are until they are forced to experience them. Right now, we're, we're seeing a huge insurgence in people seeing the need for cloud-based access control. Uh, businesses, as they're shut down but still remaining, you know, still operating, they're having people needing to come back and forth from the office to get certain things, whether it's data, hardware, information, whatever, and it is a nightmare for some businesses, but it's also been very seamless for those who are also, who are already using ProData Key. Next question is uh, your pricing structure compared to your competitors. We range between 20 and 50, 50 
50% less um, than our competitors, not just on the cloud uh, uh, pricing, but also the hardware uh, pricing as well. So that's what you can typically expect between 20 and 50%. And, and this is not intentional, percent. right? We yeah. are not sitting there thinking, let's be the cheapest. But one of the things you're gonna find, and this is a theme throughout Prodata Key, is we are dealer centric. We want to be able to make a product and we want to be able to offer it to you in a way that you can be super competitive. And so we look at the goals that we want to achieve as a company and we don't see a need to excessively price or gouge or price in a way that only benefits us. We find that the best relationships are mutually beneficial. And one of the idols that we have is Henry Ford. I mean, when we first started this company, that's one thing that was a mantra of ours, is how do we make a, a platform that's cost effective to the industry? So the reason that our system typically is, is less expensive than most other platforms in the industry, not only in the cloud and the hardware, is because we put just a specific margin on each one of the products based on the product itself, and then that's how it goes to the industry. And so we, we, we wanna make sure that it's cost effective for you as the dealer. And like Dallin said, we're very dealer centric and then how you uh, sell it and, and install it for your customer um, is really what matters most. Jeff, did Ford beat Ferrari? <laughs> it did. Oh, that's great. Interesting. <laughs> uh, do you have functionality to allow tenants uh, to provision a credential to a visitor with access to specific doors? Uh, let's see if I understand this correctly. Do you have functionality to allow tenants to provision a credential? Um, so, I don't know that I understand this correctly, but it sounds like uh, you want it as a as a tenant or an employee to be able to uh, give a credential to a uh, uh, to a guest that's coming in. And the answer is, if you're an administrator or a manager in the platform, then yes, you can. But uh, directly from the touch app that allows you to physically open the door you wouldn't issue a credential from there. But from PDKIO, if you're set up as an administrator and manager, you can issue credentials directly from there. Uh, but typically most um, tenants or employees wouldn't have that access. That'd be uh, for an administrator, somebody who's running a property um, or a commercial environment. So no, we don't currently have the ability for a, a tenant to send a credential uh, to a user, but we have some things in the work that will be excited, exciting. Uh, with that technology. Um, what opportunities are there for RMR? Um, all the opportunity in the world. Um, so really, the sky's the limit when you look at reoccurring revenue. You can wrap that, uh, you can wrap that directly into a maintenance agreement. Um, you can you, uh, charge it separately as a monthly or a yearly reoccurring revenue to your customer. We typically see in the industry anywhere from you know, $10 to $20 per door per month. Uh, based on the type of installation that you do, are you financing some of the equipment? It, really, you're, the sky's the limit when you talk about reoccurring revenue and, and how you set that up. And here again, following the thing of, of dealer centricity, we do not control the way that, that our dealers and integrators charge their end users. We allow the market to do that. We give you the freedom. We charge super low cloud hosting fees, and then we allow you the freedom. We will consult with you. We will give you all of the value or information that you need to be able to charge correctly. But what we're seeing is some really creative uh, opportunities for RMR out there. People are finding ways to add value to their RMR, whether it's through a service contract, whether it's through warranties, um, however you can think it up, we are not going to regulate that with you. Same thing with our Bluetooth reader. I mean, $45 or $48 a year for licensing on that, unlimited credentials. Think of the, the possibilities there, especially compared to, to the competitive competition. There's no competition when you think of it that way. Absolutely. Uh, next one is, can this, can this be also used uh, for time lock, uh, or sorry, time clock for employees? Um, there are some reports that you can pull. We don't, sit, we don't have a time clock report built into the system. It is something that we're looking at and, and possibly doing an integration on. So I think you'll see more of that in the future. But a specific time clock that's a certified time clock, no, not today. But again, we've seen some dealers get really creative put a separate reader out in the front of a building that each employee has to swipe into and then another one that they have to swipe out. Yeah, it's a little finicky, but at the same time, at the end, you can use our rules engine and our, our report engine and be able to pull a pretty detailed report of who came in and when. Yep, exactly. It looks like that's the last of the questions. If there are uh, no other questions, let's see.
Uh, do you have any industry specific literature for churches and other smaller installations? Uh, the answer is yes. We do uh, research all the time uh, with installations that happen with our product. Uh, we've got many churches throughout the country, uh, as well as many schools. And we've got uh, even some video broadcasts. If you go on our YouTube channel, you can see that with a school uh, that was here in Utah by the Wasatch Group um, and, and RSL uh, Training Academy. Um, but for churches, we also have some literature uh, that shows uh, a church installation and a white paper that sure. describes that. Yeah, go on to protadt.com, select Partner Portal. This will take you to a literal treasure trove of information about ProDataKey. Key. All of our white paper, our data sheets, our engineering schematics, and guides for all of our hardware is on there. We also have a, kind of a wiki, a PDK wiki, where you can search anything from uh, MAC addresses for door controllers all the way down to uh, you know the encryption. But it also speaks to that. Yeah, absolutely. We've got another question. Oh, yeah. oh, Sorry, case studies. Yes. I forgot. Yeah, it also has our case studies on there. We have synagogue and church case studies on there that'll give you all of the benefits of PDK in those applications, as well as what our end users had to say about it. So that's hugely beneficial, especially when offering that to your end users, being like, hey, here's an example of where ProDataKey Key was already applied and look at the outcome. And the video case study of the RSL Training Academy oh, uh, was, awesome. was, was great. So if you have a few minutes, go and check that out. Um, remote management troubleshooting for the installer. The answer is yes, you know, that is who we are. So if you were to describe ProData Key, it's remote management, remote configuration, remote troubleshooting. Um, uh, dealers that install ProData Key um, roll less trucks. That's the end of the hands day. down. Most of our problems are solved calling into our support. Most of our problems can even be solved before the end user even knows there's an issue through our uh, notifications options. So one of the cool things, I have our support team come by my office all the time to say, another one down, I'll be like, what are you talking about? They're like, we helped, we helped them. They didn't even have to drive a truck out there. All we had to do is reset the cloud node or they had this rule set incorrectly and we're able to figure that out. The cool thing about our support is we have guys who have been in the industry for 10, 15, 20 years who have been installers back there helping you. So these aren't some kids that we hired and trained. These are people who have been where your installers are. They know the main issues and problems they deal with and they know how to solve them quickly. Yeah, we, and we actually require that our tech support um, team comes from the industry uh, previous installers. And so that's, that's really played well for us. Uh, you mentioned integration with a VMS. What about integration into, into a Berg system? Uh, that's a great question. It's actually something that's on our roadmap and being worked on right now. I don't have a release date for that, uh, but we've got two Berg systems that we're actively integrating into right now. We're really excited about that. Um, and again, for us, the only reason we haven't had an integration into a Berg system to date is really understanding what does that mean. And so it took a, a lot of research on our part, not to just do an integration the same way that everybody else did it, but determine what does that integration look like and our development team is working on that today. But still, our cool, we, the, the dynamic of our controllers right now, we have a lot of dealers who are able to disable and enable Berg systems through our existing hardware and setup. But it doesn't give an in-depth integration, right? But you still have that ability with ProDataKey. You know, the platform's that valuable to an end user to where a lot of them are just like, we're gonna go with this. This will give them the opportunity to activate or deactivate their Berg systems through our existing hardware. Absolutely. Uh, can you configure a door? Can you configure so door one must be closed before door two is open? The answer is yes. Um, you can do that. And it doesn't matter what controller you have. So if you've got an eight door controller and then a single door controller, um, all of our rules engine is cross platform. So it doesn't matter what controller you're communicating to and you want the action to happen on. It could be wireless, network, single, eight, dual controller. It doesn't matter. Um, you'll set that uh, configuration up and you can absolutely do, you know, a little lock scenario. Yeah. The thing I like about a rules engine, it's really an if, then this scenario. If this, then this. If this door is not shut, then this door won't open. However you want to set it up, you can go in there and see there is a thousand different ways that you can set up a single door through yeah. PDKL. We could probably give you a four, uh, four hour uh, just pitch on, the rules on just the rules engine alone, <laughs> but it's super easy because it's just uh, done with drop downs. Uh, putting in the time frames. That's the same way the email and text alerting happens in our system as well. So uh, we've got a fantastic email and text uh, engine. And when you talk about support, like we had that question before, you know, um, can you do support remotely? The answer is yes, but also can you receive those notifications remotely? The answer is yes. So if I happen to be um, out and about in my truck 
and uh, one of my installs has a problem with a controller, a lot of times I'll know about it as the installer prior to my customer uh, knowing that there's an issue and I can uh, either diagnose that remotely or roll a truck. But on top of that, you can receive notifications for anything else, including um, somebody coming in a door at specific times, um, locked out of a door, um, a door that they shouldn't be going in. You know, again, sky's the limit on those notifications that you can receive text and or email alerts. I think that's, uh, those are all the questions. Wow, lots of questions. Thank you so much for the participation. It means a lot. Questions always help us get better and re not only just refine our own knowledge, but if there's things in here that we can't do that people want, we want to be able to do that. That's another thing that you'll find about ProDataKey is we take that feedback and I just can't believe how much we talk about it in our meetings and we talk to our engineers and our developers about it and ask how quickly is this possible, what are the applications, and then we put it on the roadmap. Absolutely. If you have additional questions, please email into sales at prodatakey.com um, and Dallin's team will get back to you very quickly. We've got sales, a sales team throughout the country. They've been doing a fantastic job working uh, remotely, which we've got uh, uh, individuals in each one of the territories throughout the country, as well as 35 outside sales reps um, in your specific territory. So uh, we can have somebody uh, get you a demo. Right now, it'll be more remotely because of the COVID. Um, issues that are out there, but uh, uh, we certainly look forward to you know being at your place at some point in the future. Thank you so much. And in closing, we just want to make sure that everyone knows that you know we, we are thinking about the industry, uh, our dealers, our future dealers, everyone who's out there working is in our minds right now as we go through this unprecedented time in history. It really is a different time, but I truly believe it can be it can be helpful to us. It can be a time for us to reflect. It can also be a time where people look at security differently. And as we move forward, we want to make sure that we partner with you in the best way we possibly can to be able to support you and your businesses. And one of the things that we're seeing right now is that the people who do deal, offer, and integrate PDK at a high level are making it through this well. Uh, they're not only working, but you know, the RMR structure that we help them develop is helping them get through without any layoffs. And so that is something that in the future we would love to offer any of you who don't work with PDK currently, we want to give you the opportunity to develop such a solid business infrastructure that you're able to go through all the tough times uh, and, and treat your employees that we know that you love with respect and empathy. And, and we've, seen, we've seen many emails come in from individuals, uh, not just talking about that, but also uh, uh, talking about the remote management of their system. And that becomes very important at a time like this where you see less and less people at a building and my need now to manage that 100% remotely and being able to do it from my phone or a tablet uh, while I'm out and about, that's, that's a big deal. Yeah. Please keep everyone that's hurting and struggling in your prayers. Um, we wish you all good luck and we hope you all stay healthy and safe. Michael Masson, we'll turn it back to you. Thank you so much. So, thank you, fellas. I sincerely appreciate um, the webinar today. I hope that it was valuable for everybody that's on the line. Please remember we're doing this every day at 12 o'clock noon. And if you need help on a project, that's where we wanna get uh, Jeff and Dowland's sales team and independent rep agents involved so that we can get you the right product right away and get it engineered properly. Thank you, fellas, and we'll look forward to the next time. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Take care.